Welcome back guys, today we're looking at the crossbow class with Zero Sen. Just taking a look around the ship. You can see the engines, they are engines at the back aren't they, yeah? Yeah, that is correct. Excellent, and this is the correct orientation of the ship. There we go. <laughs> and what's this on top here, you've got a mast. A radio yeah, antenna. it's a running theme with all of my ships. Uh, comma rays. Larger ships will have radar jamming built into them. Okay. That's cool. So it's a focus on turrets? Yeah. Focus turrets, anti-fighter basically. Not meant to go up anything bigger than itself. Yeah. It's quite nice, man. It's a nice color scheme. But it's like, there's no wedges either. Does that make it cheaper? To a degree. If it was made out of normal hull instead of hardened hull, it would be even cheaper than it is. Right. Are they guns at the front there? Uh, yeah. There are two guns on it. And it enough. has four missile launchers divided between two computers. Nice. So this isn't the ship you wanted to show me. No, it is not. No, there's this another is ship. The little ship. There is another ship. So without further ado, I think we're gonna grab that one. So we spawned in the main ship that we're gonna check out today. This is a halberd class. Do you wanna tell me something about this? This is designed similar to the crossbow in that it can be used for anti-fighter, but its primary role is anti-capital ship. Nice. Is it deployed on its own or is a fleet with a couple? Uh, this would be the basically the middle ground. There would be two to three others in the fleet where there would be eight or so crossbow class. Nice. There's one ship larger that I'm still working on that would be the center of the fleet. It's a beauty. I love the launching uh, bit in the middle here. All right, one second, I'm about to orient it. Oh boy. Time to dodge. It looks awesome. You got a real nice style to this. You're gonna line her up. Yeah, as you can see under the bridge section that the internals is still incomplete, but the exterior of the hull is done and the weapon systems are alive. Oh cool. So we'll wait to do the weapons test. I'd like to do the weapons test for your fleet. Uh, you know, when they're all ready. Because I've got an idea. Yeah, that might take a while, but That's sure. okay. We can put we can, we can have a well, or maybe up to the sizes you've completed, and then we can do some uh, more interesting bobby fights. Well, this one sits at 218 meters long. My longest is going to be over 600 meters. Wow. It's nice. How many turret hard points are there on this one? Uh, 17 in total. Seven designed for small turrets, eight for uh, medium turrets, and two over the center section for large. Each of them I made clearly marked for ease of use later. Beats finding a little red dot. Hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. So how many different classes are going to be in your fleet? Uh, in total there will be five classes with the crossbow being the smallest. This is about even with a missile frigate I have planned. There's a super carrier and then the super capital ship as well. Awesome. Yeah, that's real nice. I got a few ship sort of projects and I don't really know exactly how to detail them and it's interesting what you've done here. I really like this sort of forward mounted launching rail. I don't know 
whether it's for deploying ships or drones or if there's a gun back there or what, but it, uh, looks, the it looks cool. forward rail in the center of the ship is the guidance rail for the main cannon of this ship. It is for the cannon, right, cool. Yes. And the arms to the sides of it are missile launchers that could stand to use more calibration but are functional. Sweet. It's got a real good style to it. Oh. <laughs> I'm liking the detail style on your engines as well. You got the crystal there. That's pretty cool. You've managed to make these square engines look interesting as well. I think it's the, the part that sticks out off the corner. Yeah, on the, inside. the overall design comes from a very old anime, so. It does look, I was gonna say, this looks like, like an anime ship, but I'm trying to think which one it is. Yeah, uh, in the US, it's from a series called Robotech. It's Robotech. It's original name is Macross. Yeah, Macross, yeah. Right, That's so the next challenge is super someone's... Cap is a <clears throat> one half scale. One half scale. Of Macross. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. <laughs> they call it Super Dimensional Fortress for a reason. <laughs> yes, and here SDF means Send Defense Fleet. Ah, ah, right, okay. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah, basically, uh, that was an epic show. How close do you think you managed to get it to the uh, original? Because obviously the original anime wouldn't have been that detailed. Um, the ship I'm building is actually based off of a movie they did a few years later. The okay. mechanical designer redid the Macross the way he wanted to, and that's the one I'm building. And that's where a lot of the design elements for these ships come from. Yeah. Have you thought about making the uh, fighter? Or is it just too small for the detail um, on the scale you're working at? At the scale I'm working at, it's too small, but I do have a fighter that I use. Haha, <laughs> nice. I was going to say. Because that one is... Yeah, I actually uh, have a couple of them uploaded for catalog. Uh, they're classified as Sabits. Really? The Type Zero would be the closest to the original fighter I built. Well, I think I might have to take a little peek at that, because this is a sort of... This is, this is, this is becoming epic. Just a second. <laughs> so here is the fighter class, which I guess you use this for just generally running around. Uh, yep. I've got one floating around back near our home base that I run around in. So you've got the sort of classic plane size in there with big oversized weaponry on each side. Classic Macross. See, I've always wanted to, uh, well, it's on the list actually, but there's a plan to uh, make a few models and it'd be interesting to have some of the ships from that series cut in, so I'd be interested to know if you'd be involved in that at a later date. Well, it sounds fun and everything that you've seen so far has been hand built. Oh wow, that's even that's uh, The even crossbow better. I built in about a day, the halberd took me a couple days to build, this about two hours. Yeah, the little ships are always fun because they don't take long to make satisfaction, you know. And then we'll take a look at the first ship here. So yeah, that's the SDF fleet. Yeah, you got a good style on the ships. It's really in keeping. Like you look at each of the ships, and you can tell they're a, you know built by you and in part of the same theme. We should make you one that's like uh, transformed. So your second version is transformed. But yeah, cheers for showing those to me. And uh, if you're watching, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.